My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served in the past. Hello, you are welcome to episode number 53 of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at four to five questions under light waves. Like I always say, your duty after every episode is to open the Flash Learners Jam application, go to the topic, like in this case, light waves. You will see all jam past and likely questions under light waves with explanations. And the app features a lot of resources to make you blast jam. With the videos and the apps, if you don't score above 300 in jam, then it is the duty of your village people. Visit flashlearners.com right now or go to your app store to install the application if you already do not have it installed. Now let's look at these questions. The wavelength of ultraviolet radiation is 400 nanometer. If the speed of light in air is 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8, then the frequency of the UV ultraviolet radiation is these are the options given to us. In physics, when you see questions, analyze them sentence by sentence. And one thing you should know in physics is understanding conversions. Look at this. We are given the wavelength of the ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet radiation is an electromagnetic wave wave these are waves that do not require material medium to propagate light waves electromagnetic wave electroviolet uh, ultraviolet rays s rays gamma rays all these are electromagnetic radiation this uv has a wavelength lambda of 400 nanometer and in light waves when you are given anything in nanometer it is imperative that you convert to meter so nanometer to meter is times 10 raised to the power of minus 9 that is nano so wavelength is therefore 400 times 10 raised to the power of minus 9 meters and it says if the speed of light in air is 3 times 10 to the power of 8. So, velocity of light is equal to 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Then the frequency of the UV. We are looking for the frequency of the ultraviolet radiation. What is the formula connecting wavelengths? velocity and frequency when it comes to light waves the formula is simply v is equals f lambda so frequency will become the velocity of the ultraviolet radiation velocity of uv over the wavelength of the ultraviolet radiation which is for okay let me say lambda but in this question, we are not given the velocity of the ultraviolet radiation, but we are given the velocity of light. Light and ultraviolet radiation, they are EM waves, electromagnetic waves. They have the same speed. So the speed of light is the same thing as the speed of the ultraviolet radiation. And this is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second or so. So they have the same speed. Visible lights, all these electromagnetic waves, they are capable of this velocity. So don't be confused or don't think we are not given the speed of UV. So what do we use at that speed? No, it is an EM wave. This speed, we also work for it. 
from here food is ready velocity is 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8 wavelength is 400 times 10 raised to the power of minus Nine. 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8 divided by 400 times 10 raised to the power of minus 9 you will get 7.5 times 10 raised to the power of 14 hertz now the wavelength of signal from a radio transmitter is 1500 meters wavelength is equals 1500 meters and the frequency is 200 kilohertz so frequency is equals 200 kilo hertz. What is the wavelength for a transmitter operating at 1000 kilo hertz? Now, this question is dealing with radio transmitter and radio transmitter in two scenarios. The first scenario is wavelength being 1500 meters and frequency being 200 kilo hertz. 200 kilohertz is the same thing as 200 times 10 to the power of 3 hertz. This same radio is now operating at 1000 kilohertz, which means the new frequency is 1000 kilohertz. That is 1000 times 10 to the power of 3 hertz. When you hear kilo, it means times 1000 or times 10 raised to the power of three we are asked to look for the wavelength this is like a variation question when lambda is one five frequency is 200 times 10 to the power of three now find lambda when frequency is 1000 times 10 to the power of three velocity is constant which means the velocity of this radio wave here will be the same as the velocity of this radio wave here. There are two ways to solve it. Let me go with the method that will not confuse you. From this first scenario, let's look for the velocity or the speed because this is the formula joining velocity, frequency, and wavelength. So from here, velocity is 200 times 10 to the power of 3 times 1500 this is frequency this is lambda velocity becomes 1500 times 2 that is 3000 0, 0, times 10 to the power of 3 so this becomes 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meters per second. This is the velocity of the radio wave. Without solving, we already know that this should be the velocity, but always, first of all, solve for the missing one here. If you are given the velocity and the frequency, find the wavelength. If you are given the wavelength and frequency, find the velocity. So any answer you get here, you substitute it for the other part. So the formula remains, v is equals f lambda we have v we have f we are looking for wavelength so lambda is v over f lambda becomes 3 times 10 to the power of 8 over frequency 1000 times 10 to the power of 3 so everything here should give you this is 8 this is 6 Seven, eight. So this will give you 300 meters. So the wavelength is 300 meters. And that should give you option B. Radio waves emitted from an antenna are picked up by a radar after reflection from aircraft in 4 times 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds. How far is the aircraft from the antenna? Taking speed of light to be two times three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second for echoes or reflection of light waves 
we have the formula v is equals 2s over t the velocity the distance and the time this is the formula for echo or reflection of light waves or of radio waves or of electromagnetic waves now this electromagnetic waves was emitted from an antenna but, or, or, that's true because antennas produce radio waves and this is a radio waves and this is emitted from an antenna and this wave was picked up by a radar after reflection from the aircraft so meaning we are dealing with the reflection of wave or echo reflected sound reflected wave look at our interest here not the grammar from an aircraft in four times ten to the power of minus three seconds seconds is the unit of time so for this our formula t is four times ten to the power of minus three seconds and we are given the velocity c or v to be three times ten to the power of eight meters per second we are asked to look for how far is the aircraft from the antenna when you hear how far it speaks of distance how long speaks of time in physics how far means distance how long means time so from here i believe food is ready from here making s subject formula vt is equals to s dividing both sides by two distance is equals vt over two and that is velocity three times ten to the power of eight times time four times ten to the power of minus three all over two three times four is 12 10 raised to the power of 8 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3 in indices when, you, when the bases are the same and you are multiplying you add up the power so here becomes 8 minus 8 plus minus 3 that is 5 times 10 raised to the power of 5 over 2 this becomes 6 times 10 raised to the power of 5 let's see the options that we have looking at this 6 times 10 to the power of 5 in jump the first thing that comes to your mind is pick option d pick option d pick option d and you pick option d you are happy wow i've keep jump i blasted no look at this the velocity is in meters so everything you are arriving at is in meters this is 6 times 10 to the power of 5 meters but the options are in kilometer 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 so if you pick six times ten to the power of five kilometer you are wrong because our answer is in meter what do you do convert from meters to kilometer how do you do that you divide by one thousand if you divide this by one thousand it will remove three zeros from here leaving you with six times ten to the power of two kilometers so option a is the correct option always look at units when it comes to physics questions very very compulsory look at that diagram below with the sun moon and earth the question says when the sun the moon and the earth are as shown in the diagram above an observer standing at s is in dash a penumbra and sees a partial eclipse b penumbra and sees a total eclipse c umbra and sees a total eclipse and d umbra and sees a partial eclipse which of them is the correct option when light is blocked by a defined source an eclipse is formed now this is the sun this is the earth and this is the moon which is blocking the sun the sun rays from reaching 
the earth. Now, an observer is staying around here. What do you think this observer will witness? Look at something. Since this is the moon here, once this moon blocks this sun, the shadow of the moon will be around here. You have something like this. Something like this. Or whatever. But the shadow will be formed here. So in this place, they will experience total darkness or total shadow or total eclipse. And the path of this total eclipse or this total shadow or the complete shadow is called umbra. Now, around this area, you will see partial shadow. Not a very thick shadow, but partial shadow. The area of that partial shadow is called penumbra. Therefore, the person here is at the penumbra region, and the person will experience a partial eclipse. A pino camera is placed 300 meters in front of a building so that the image is formed on a screen 5 centimeters from the pinhole. The image is formed on a screen 5 centimeters from the pinhole, which means the image distance is 5 centimeters. Look at this. If the image is 2.5 centimeters high, the height of the building will be this implies that the building is the object in question. And this object is placed 300 meters in front of. This pinhole camera is placed 300 meters in front of the object or in front of the building. So the object distance is 300 meters. And we are told that the image height is 2.5 meters centimeter rather image height is 2.5 centimeter so what will be the height of the building which means the object height is what we are looking for and from pinhole camera notice this formula most times with this formula you can answer all the questions uh they will set under pinhole camera for a pinhole camera Image distance over image height is equals object distance over object height. So anyone that is missing, use this formula to get it. In this case, image distance is 5 cm over image height is 2.5. This is equals object distance is 300 meters and object height is our question. Cross multiplying object height, let's call it S, so we don't solve many things. So 5 times S is equals 300 times 2.5. 5 S is equals 300 times 25 over 10. 2.5 is 25 over 10. And this is the same thing as 5s is equals 30 times 25. This is the same thing as s is equals 30 times 25 over 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. So 30 times 5, that is 150. So 150 meters is your answer. And that is option D. Anyhow, you wish to get your S from here, do it, you get 150. So I'm just trying to teach you ways to break down expressions or to break down equations. That is it for the answer and that is it for today. I hope you found it interesting. Feel free to ask your questions and don't forget to tell your friends about flat Take care of yourself and see you in the next episode.